Hello and welcome to today's video. This is one I've been excited about for a long time. We're going to just be discussing the catapult. But not this one. This one. So, I like. We're not only studying that one, we're studying all of these. We've got the ballista right here, a little crossbow thing here. That might be said fast, I'm not sure. Then we've got this tiny little catapult, traditional Lego catapult. Then, a giant catapult. And then we've got the catapult. More on that one. So it all started off with this catapult. This small, wimpy, weak, and lame catapult. I was wondering if there's a better way to do things. Of course there were. I had built catapults before. And I've built a lot of, a lot of other launching machines. So why not do a video on those? So my first designs was the larger catapult. Basically it's the same kind of catapult thingy. Except this one's bigger. Also, this one's cushioned so it doesn't make noise when you hit it. Like this. Well, still some noise, but not that much. Also, it's a lot larger, so when you hit it with the same force as this one, it can launch a much larger object much farther. Then came this one. This is the hidden catapult. As you'll see, all my catapults have a red button. One of the things that most annoyed me about the catapult is that its button was in the front. So whenever I hit, I was worried about something coming and hitting me. But with this one, the button is in the back. It uses two catapults, one used to launch the other catapult which lets it be built seamlessly into a floor. I use this to great purpose. I like putting chairs on it, and people on the chairs, and then taking the people off the chairs through violent means. Next, of course, is something spring-loaded that doesn't need arms or anything, and it can be cocked and then fired separately. This one uses a little click twist mechanism, which has a winch, connected to the rubber band through string, you may not be able to see that on the camera. And then you pull this back, it uses this gear, this little lever here, so it goes one way, but not the other. And then, to release this little pin, there's an axle going straight through this trigger, and you press down, and this ballista or ballista is fired. So, what needs to be done is pull all the way back, insert ammo of some kind or another, Finally, this is my crossbow. It is much more powerful than any of the other catapults. It uses a system. It's got these two arms up here with two rubber bands, one on the back being used as a string and one on the front being used to hold it forward. So these, by these gears, can both rotate back. Pulling this back, you've got this little axle back here. It can be looped around the axle, and then when this pin is pulled forward, the axle is pulled out, and it fires. Like this. Then, ammunition can be inserted. And cut. So this catapult is basically a giant version of the other catapult, except I've attached a little rod going through the bottom with these little rubbery pieces for padding as the catapult comes down and goes up. Basically the same thing, it just has these posts with Technic pins connected to a big rod with a bucket at one end. The hidden catapult is a bit more complicated. It has two rods, one of which has a trigger and the other one basically just ends the Technic loop. I added an extra knot to this one which means that the of this rod can pull this one down unless it goes a bit too far, in which case they offshoot. Then it has two balls, which can be used to snap together. I would have put pieces on the bottom, except this pulled the pieces together which meant it was harder to turn, as there was more friction on it now. Now my ballast of which I am so proud, has this little axle on the underside which ro just rotates to pull this ratchet off. This can be pulled back, and again the ratchet releases it. I have the string tied up here because my witch string was way too long, so I had a bunch of excess, so I just wrapped it around this piece down here. And I have these pieces here, these just make a hinge so the ballast can be aimed. And I've got this rubber band here, it wraps around this brick, around the front, through around these pins, and to this piece here pulls the rubber band back. My favorite part about my ballista is that it's very customizable. This is the Rainbow Container Buckshot. It allows me to reel an entire bucket back and launch all the contents of that bucket. In this case, all the orange pips I can find. And then...
Hello everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas on what I can do next time, or any ways I can make my videos better, please put them in the comments. Also, I'd love to see any versions of these catapults that you made.